Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Brew Crew Nation 98, where we discuss all things Milwaukee Brewers. And today we're doing our second edition of the Week in Brew View for the dates from Tuesday, August 9th, 2022, all the way up to Monday, August 15th of 2022. And this week started out really, really nice with the Brewers Sweeping a two-game series against the Tampa Bay Rays who are very similar record-wise record, record -wise for the Brewers. Game 1 of the series, Milwaukee won 5-3 over the Rays with Freddie Peralta picking up the win. Over five innings, two earned runs. Scoring-wise, McCutcheon hit a ground rule double, scored Yelich, and then Tyrone Taylor singled to get a 2-0 lead. And then top of the third, Yandy Diaz of uh, the Rays tied the game up 2-2. Bottom of the fifth. McCutcheon singled, scored Willie Adamas, and then Colton Wong doubled later on in the inning, so that Rowdy and McCutcheon scored. And then top of the seventh, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, Joe Jose Sealy doubled to right center and scored a run. Overall in the lineup from Milwaukee, Yellows from 0 for 2 with two walks. Willie Adamas against his former club hit went 2 for 3 with a run. Rowdy throws 0 for 3 with a walk. McCutcheon, good game, 2 for 4 with a double and 2 RBIs. Colton Wong had a double and 2 RBIs as well. And pitching-wise, very good from Freddy Peralta. 5 innings pitch, 4 Ks, over 65 pitches, doing pretty well. And then the bullpen did well, a little bit of hiccup from Hunter Milner, but that's okay. And then Matt Bush locked down the save with 2 strikeouts, doing pretty well. So, off to a good start. Then next day on Wednesday, August 10th, Brewers again beat the Rays 4-3 in 10 innings. And start off at the bottom of the first with Mike Rousseau singling and scoring the cushion. And then Kesson Hira singled and scored Mike Rousseau. And then top of the third, the Rays got on board with a David Peralta single that scored Francisco Mejia. Top of the fifth, Yu Shang homered. And then top of the seventh, Randy Rosarino homer to give the Rays a 3-2 lead. Then we get to the bottom of the ninth. And we had the big boy Rowdy Tellez come up to the plate and hit a game-tying home run to send the game to extra innings. Where in the bottom, of the, after a really strong top of the tenth inning from Devin Williams. Oh, excuse me. Willie Adamas, who was like 0 for 4 with... Three strikeouts so far that game. Singled to left center, scoring Tyrone Taylor and giving the Brewers the walk-off victory against the Tampa Bay Rays, his former team. So really, really, really good start to that week after coming off a really bad week where we lost five out of six to the Pirates and Reds. Going into a really important three-game series against the division-leading Cardinals with a little bit of momentum. But sadly, on Friday, August 12th, we lost to the Cardinals 3-1. Not that good. Started on the bottom of the first when Paul Goldschmidt hit a two-run homer off of Eric Lauer. Continuing his MVP campaign this year. Just absolutely... He's already been a good hitter, but he's getting it to a new height. And then the bottom of the sixth, again off of Lauer, Nolan Arenado hit a homer to give the Cardinals a 3-0 lead. And the Brewers' only run of the game came in the top of the zone. Victor Caratini singled in Luis Urias. Look at the lineup. Yelch, not really a lot of uh, production. Yelch struggled. Adamas went one for three. Best hitter was Caratini, who went three for four, which is really good. I mean, it wasn't a bad performance by Lauer. Six innings pitch, five hits, three earned run, five Ks. Long ball killed us, and our offense just didn't do anything against... Jordan Montgomery, who came over from the New York Yankees as a trade deadline for the Cardinals. So, drop the first game 3-1. to one. Okay, regroup, try not to panic, get back on Saturday, where the Brewers won in extra innings 3-2 to two over the Cardinals. And if you look at it, really tight game to the bottom of the seventh when Nolan Gorman doubled and scored in Goldsmith to get the Cardinals a 1-0 lead. And then Luis Urias... And top of the eighth, homered, and just one gate tied the game. Then didn't score until the top of the tenth. When Hunter Renfro tripled to right center, scoring McCutcheon, and then Colton Wong in the next at bat 
hit a sack fly to score in Renfro. In the bottom of the 10th, uh, Dylan Carlson hit a sacrifice fly to score in Nolan Goldman. But Matt Bush was able to lock it down and get the save. And Devin Williams picked up another one after doing really good in the top of the bottom of the ninth. So, okay, 1-1. One, one. If we take the series against the Cardinals, we end up tying for the division. But, oh, it was not a good day. Not a good day. Start off really, really good. In the top of the second, where Hunter Renfro homered to deep center. And Andrew McCutcheon ended up scoring on that. Then in the bottom of the second inning, um, Albert Pujols hit his home run to get to 6-8-8. I know I'm not, I'm supposed to be angry at the Cardinals, but I really want Pujols to hit 700. That would be amazing for baseball if he can do it. Not much time left, unfortunately, but man, it would be great. And then in the bottom of the sixth, Tyler O'Neill homered and tied the game up 2-2. Two and then the bottom of the eighth is where we really started to struggle with Dylan Car with Dylan Carlson hitting a solo shot to get a 3-2 lead. And then Albert Pujols homered to deep left to get the 6-8-9 to get a 6-2 lead. It was a three-run shot. And, well, let's just say that Taylor Rod Rogers struggled <laughs> in this game. And then top of the ninth, Rowdy Tellez homered to bring his home run total up as well. So, stat lines, Adamas went one for four, Telez hit his home run, McCutcheon and Renfro both did decently. Aaron Ashby actually pitched really well, six innings pitched, three hits, two earned runs, five strikeouts. Devin Bush came in the seventh, really, really good, with uh, three strikeouts in that inning. But, as I said, Taylor Rogers really struggled that game, and we ended up dropping the series against St. Louis. And we are... And then now, as I'm recording, it's in the middle of a four-game series against the hottest team in baseball, winning, uh, going into Monday, winning 12 of their last 13 games. And a team the Brewers have struggled against, and I hate a lot because they ruined the 2018 team in the L.A. Dodgers. Not much to say here. Brewers got shut out 4 nothing. It began with the top of the first when Freddie Freeman homered. And then top of the fifth, Will Smith hit a sacrifice for Mookie Betts. Top of six, Gavin Lux homered to deep center. Brewers offense did nothing at all. Because our pitching was all decent. Yelich, 0 for 2 with two walks. Adamas, 1 for 4. 0 for 4. 0 for 2. 0 for 2. 0 for 2. The only person who got multiple hits was Rowdy Telez. And then it was just not very good. Sadly, Freddie got tagged for the loss. He went four innings, two hits, four walks, three Ks. That one earned run being the home run he gave up to Freddie Freeman. And then Hunter Milner struggled as well. And then Jason Alexander came in and basically was on mop of duty. Really pitched well. Three innings, no earned runs. So, but man, not the greatest way to do it. So now if you look at the standings, Milwaukee's two games behind. The St. Louis Cardinals for the division. And we are now also two games behind the San Diego Padres for the last wild card spot. Looking ahead to this week, we got three more games against the Dodgers. And then we travel to Chicago for hopefully a rebound series. Until we play three more games against the Dodgers. <laughs> so, it, it's going to be a rough stretch. If we can, like, maybe split with the Dodgers, potentially, that will be a huge... Huge, huge win for the Brewers. But it's going to be tough. Like we're, This is like crunch time now. All the pitchers are back. And if we don't, if we start really getting like, the change is going to have to come in the offseason. We might have to start a rebuild. And I am not looking forward to that at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What you thought about this up past week it was better we had a lot more win we have more wins this time around still sadly a losing record but yeah it's just we're coming against the Dodgers at the wrong time we're on the skid they're coming in let me know what you guys think in the comments what Brewers have done recently and what you think they're going to do ahead and I want to thank you guys for watching if you like the video please like comment and subscribe for more
This is Brew Crew Nation 98, signing out.